night as Southeast Michigan deals with significant storm damage as another round is poised to roll through. Thank you for joining us for 7 News Detroit at 7. I'm Glenda Lewis. We do have team coverage of this severe weather beginning with Brett Cast. He's live with the fire chief in Livonia. Brett, good evening. Yeah, Glenda, we're Hey, good evening, Glenda. Yeah, we're about to get an update here from the fire chief uh, here in Livonia. Again, uh, this potential tornado coming through here on Houghton Street. So, Chief. Hi, Chief Robert Jennison, Livonia Fire and Rescue. Uh, at approximately 3.37 this afternoon, fire crews from Fire Station 6 were dispatched to the 14,000 block of Houghton Street uh, for a tree down into a house. Multiple trees up and down the street were down in the area. Uh, upon arrival at the scene, our crews found a massive hardwood tree that had been uprooted and fell into a residence through the roof, landing on a bed in the bedroom in the back of the house where a mother and her two-year-old were laying and pinning them by the tree. At that point, all available units in the city were dispatched to the scene. A special call for the Western Wayne County search and rescue team was made. Crews worked tirelessly for over an hour uh, removing parts of the tree and lifting the tree with high pressure airbags uh, to extricate the victims. Uh, after the hour, the mother was transported to the hospital in critical condition. Uh, unfortunately, the two-year-old uh, had succumbed to his injuries and uh, was pronounced dead on scene. Obviously, we're, uh, this was a very traumatic uh, scene. Um, our thoughts and prayers go out to the friends and family uh, of the victims. Um, this was, uh, this was a, a tough day. And it sounded like this, this storm came through and it was not something, I mean, people didn't hear sirens, obviously, and it wasn't something that people saw coming, right? I mean, no. uh, I have uh, emergency manager Brian Kahn here from um, uh, Livonia Emergency Management that can comment on that. Were there any other children in the house? I understand that there was a, uh, a, a two-week-old in a crib in a separate room that was uh, uh, not affected but was transported along with the grandmother and our crews with our crews to St. Mary's Hospital for an evaluation. Sir, I saw some of your crews out here earlier just kind of staring off into space. What does this do to a department to have to deal with a call like this? This is a, a, a very traumatic call. Um, you know, we have a, a lot of uh, fathers and uh, they have children that are similar ages, but this is what they, they do. This is what they train for. Um, there's gonna be some healing that needs to go on after this, um, but uh, this is what they're here for and, and this is what they do. And mom's condition? She's in critical condition as far as I know. You'd have to check with the hospital for further. Were you able to communicate at all with the mother as, as the crews are attempting to get to her? Yeah, she was. Uh, she remained conscious uh, throughout most of the extrication. She was being treated by her paramedics while she was uh, impinged by the tree. Um, and then once we were able to uh, remove the tree, which was a massive four-trunk hardwood tree that uprooted right next to the bedroom, so the entire mass of the tree came down through the bedroom that they were staying in. So parts of the roof had to be removed to get to the tree, to get to the victims, and then about a dozen chainsaws and 25 firefighters cutting the tree to pieces until we could get enough of the weight off to be able to lift the massive trunks off of her and remove her from the bed. How long did that take? It took uh, an hour. Is there anything else you want to add? No. Again, our thoughts and prayers uh, go out to the family. Thank you. Would it be able to ask you a question? Okay. Um, so again, as we mentioned earlier too, I mean, obviously this thing seemed to pop up out of nowhere. Correct. Sounds like National Weather Service is looking at the potential of this being a tornado. What do we know now and, and how kind of quickly did this pop out of nowhere? Correct. As the chief said, this is just a, a tragic day and this is part of the job that we all hate. Uh, and it's just, it's, it's being a father myself, it's just something I couldn't possibly even imagine. So obviously, as we all know, I mean, we were storms are potentially coming through just nothing really indicative of, of severe storms that we typically see national weather service we we're in contact with them right away they're going to send somebody out to assess this they have to take time to determine exactly what occurred whether it was a tornado straight line winds and so forth and then they can grade it from that point forward so we're working closely with them along with all of our other partners wayne county homeland security state of michigan homeland security is just every, all our assets have come to bear on something like this so we can help the family get through this, help the residents get through this. But it was just a very quick pop-up storm talking with the National Weather Service uh, and something that was just very unpredictable to, to determine. It's just, it's weather and it's just a tragic, tragic day. And what's the cleanup efforts from here? I know you got some roadblocks. I mean, we're talking dozens of, of 
trees uprooted. Correct, correct. and that's uh, one of our primary concern right now is to get these roads opened to so we can get to the residents as needed and make sure we get to trees. So we have the uh, Livonia DPW department is coming out. They're going to be clearing trees along with mutual aid from other surrounding departments to help us out uh, to make sure we can get these roads opened. And we're working with DT very closely to get the power back up to this area as quickly as possible. You know, one of those in unfortunate and terrible situations that remind us that our first responders are human too. Uh, Brett, we had to go there, but we'll get back to you later for more information.